What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to customize the QuizMaker WordPress plugin for free. So in the previous video from our series using the QuizMaker WordPress plugin so we can generate a quiz just like BuzzFeed on our website based on WordPress and for free, we did learn how to install this plugin and how to customize it, how to apply it into a page. And in this video, we do learn, we will learn how to customize the plugin. But before anything, I did make two tests in the previous videos and here are the results of the tests. If anyone on your WordPress website made a test and fulfilled the name, you can see the results in the user base data. Right here into the results page under the plugin panel settings. Now, let me go back to the quiz editor. Let me change the theme for something more clean and light. I'm gonna change the animation effect for the quiz appear. Let me apply a background image so you can see how easy is the process. I do have a gradient or a background image, but the font color does not seem right. You can change it according to the image that you choose, but as you can see, it's better with a simple white background. We focus on the content. But if you are doing some quiz for some pop theme, you can use more colors in the case that you want. The progress bar style. You can disable answers hover. You can change the questions alignment. You can change the button size. I'm gonna make it bigger. You can even change the button widget and text size. But let's go to the next options. That is settings. Into the quiz settings, we have a lot of things to do. For example, show title, enable randomized answers, randomized questions, questions blank, group questions by category, which is really good in the case that have a lot of questions. You can change the answers view from a list to a grid. I'm gonna change this and do a test so we can see. Show the questions counter. You can show or hide it. Enable the RTL direction, the right to left, show correct answers, you can show or not the correct answers, and show messages for right and wrong answers during the quiz, on the results page, or on both. I do recommend that you do in the on the results page, so you can keep the user replying the questions until the end, so he can see, he or she can see the results in the end, and spend more time on your website. You can show the quiz author, the quiz category, show questions categories. And finally, you can enable or disable the option for the user to recommend review the quiz. There's a lot of things to learn, like enable timer, enable background music. No bar is like a website with music, actually, but you can do in the case that you want. It's your site and is under your decision. Now, if you go to the next tab, that is the quiz result settings, you can redirect the user to another page after quiz submission. You can enable exit button, you can hide score, you can display score by percentage or by per or correct answer. Show the statistical and even change the quiz loader icon. I do prefer this one. There is a circle, but you can apply a GIF or a text. The results message, the score, the quiz pass message, the quiz fail message, and disable database storing in quizzes, from quizzes. This is not recommended by the plugins, but in the case that you do not want to store users' data, no need to it. And here, what do we have? Let me start the quiz. I'm gonna reply one of the questions with the wrong answer, just to check 
what happens. As you can see, we can see the, the this right or wrong question after replying and not in the results page. Here's our new icon and here is the option and the final result displaying as a grid. There's also, there, there are also limitations for users, for example, limit user by IP, user ID, cookie, or IP and cookie. You can enable the quiz only for logged users, so only website members or logged in users can reply the quiz, only for select user rule, for example, administrator, shop manager, writer, editor, but if you want to make your quiz public, no needs for it. Limitation count of takers. The user data, that is the data that the plugin do collect from your users, persons that are replying it, the quizzes. The email certification that is only for our premium version of the plugin and the integration that we did check in our first video from the plugin series, the WP Quiz Maker. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out the visualmodel.com portfolio of amazing WordPress teams with full compatibility to this plugin and many others. And I see you later. All the best.